Hello, welcome to my talk, Learning to Reason End-to-End -end Module Networks for Visual Question Answering. I'm Max Schrober, and this is joint work with Rong Hang Hu, Jacob Andreas, Trevor Dow, and Kate Sayenko. So we're interested in the task of visual question answering, so answering questions about images such as this one. And most state-of-the-art use monolithic networks, which means they use the same network for all questions. And that works well on simple questions, but those networks are typically have limited interpretability, and if you have more complicated questions, such as this one, how many other things are the same size as the green ball, we might want to have more compositional reasoning. So how would we go about that? So we would maybe first want to locate the ball, so we find the ball in the image, and then we attend to the corresponding region in the image. And then we um, relocate this um, ball, looking for objects of the same size, and again, attending to all those objects, and given this attention map, we can count how many objects there are. So we have, we have those set of objects. Now the question is, how can we predict this module from the question? And we want to do that end-to-end -end in contrast to prior work. So we encode the question using a question RNN encoder, and then this in decoder with attention, we predict the networks one step at a time. So, and then finally, we have a network builder which builds the network out of that, that works for simple networks and also for more complex networks such as this one. So we have two things. We have a layout policy which tells us what tasks to do, and we have neural modules which tells us how to do those things. So now we want to train the discrete layout policy. And we do two things there. On the one hand, we clone from an expert policy. So we basically use supervised training using the crown truth policy. And we do policy search using reinforcement learning. So let's now see how that works. First in the VPA data set, a qualitative example. Um, for the question, what is behind the foot of the bed? We first find the bed, and then we look for things which are behind the bed, and in this case, it's the desk, so we answer desk correctly. Quantitatively, we see here uh, in, blue our, uh, in blue prior work and in orange our work, and we see that we compare comp uh, perform comparably, but our, our networks are more interpretable. And on the more complicated clever data set, we can um, predict these complex, complex network layouts. And quantitatively, here we um, our performance improvement is uh, more significant um, by first cloning with the expert policy and then doing additional policy search, improving the performance significantly. And since our submission, there have been many works who looked at this data set, including a work by Justin Johnson, which will be presented on Thursday at this conference. In conclusion, I've um, presented enter and module networks, and we learned the policy and have a compositional modules. And we have code available, and um, if you have more questions, um, I'll be at poster six uh, to answer them. Thank you for your attention.